YouTube here. It's Lisa State of the YouTube channels of Lisa State and Hitler Obsessed coming to you all with the uh, 16th video, I guess, of the Life and Death uh, lecture series of Adolf Hitler. Uh, continuing it from, I guess, the best place you can have of uh, dead prisons of a community college. Probably gonna take my royalties when I become monetized. <laughs> Great. Okay, so back to us. The way I left off was was Hitler, uh, you know, was having would have a relationship with his niece, Gary Rubel, which was of his half sister from his uh, dad, Alois Hitler. Now a little bit of a backstory: Alois Hitler did have self Russell uh, relationships, marriages, before he met Clara Hitler. And Angela, uh, Hitler, I guess, Angela Rubel, I guess, though, uh, who would later marry another guy named Rubel, I guess, uh, that was a Alois Hitler's, uh, uh, other relationship that he had, a step-sibling that was Hitler's. Uh, this is not biologically Hitler's sibling, so the other siblings of Clara Hitler uh, would actually die with Edmund Hitler, which was Hitler's younger brother, and Paula Hitler. So that would be the biological Alois Hitler, Clara Hitler, Hitler's siblings. So the only sibling was that lived past Hitler was Paula Hitler. So, all right, so. There's a little backstory there. But Hitler would start having the relationship with Gary Rubel. Uh, and this is up to debate in the history community if that was even not safe for work and probably going to strike my channel down. <laughs> Content. Uh, or just, you know, normal, healthy uncle niece relationship. Chances are, knowing Hitler, I think that was, uh, my channel is going to get struck down because this content kind of relationship. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Let's just keep it that, uh, you know, make what you will of that. You know, the imagination, use your imagination. You know, parents taught us back in the day that you, uh, use your imagination. Since we're on a college campus, you can think what I'm, mm, just use that as a clue. Good, great. Don't have to go into detail. But eventually, the relationship would get so bad that at one point, uh, Gelly Rubal would try to actually go back to Austria. And Hitler would have her found out that she tried to leave him and force her to come back with him. She did have a boyfriend girlfriend relationship with Hitler's. So full that Hitler would get upset and the guy would actually literally jump out of a window. Yes, he would jump through glass, pretty much a pane of glass, uh, because the woman who he was dating, her uncle, Adolf Hitler, found out and tried to beat the guy with her lip. I mean, sounds like something that you just do in the Midwest, in Kansas, you know? Oh, Dad finds out you, the, the, the daughter's got a strange guy around at the house. Comes home with the shotgun. Come on, it's, that's how we, how we do it in Kansas, I guess, in the Midwest. Probably not anymore. <laughs> with all the Californians moving over there. Probably not anymore. Oh well. <laughs> But no, back to us saying, yes, Hitler's niece, Gelly Rubel, would have relationships with other men in the Nazi party. Uh, uh, and I guess Hitler, you know, being the so-called... I'm trying to use this as so sarcasm as possible, knowing this is going straight to YouTube, <laughs> trying to make this thing as less cringeworthy and as less uh, violating any policies, but you know, this is a 
This is a video that I'm probably definitely gonna get struck for. Hopefully not. It's just for educational purposes. But yeah, that was no event for Hitler would be uh taking Gally Rubal, you know, to go shopping and she would just be breaking the porcelain pig, the piggy bank of Adolf Hitler in the wallet of hers. And he would follow after her holding, you know, just boxes and packages of clothes that she's bought probably from like, you know, the Tommy Hilfinger, the Hugo Boss, you know, uh, Earl Crombie and Finch, Earl Postal, whatever they had back then compared to a modern day brands that I just mentioned. I don't know, uh, black dress, white market, I guess, you know, very upper class, you know, was it, uh, Saks on Fifth Avenue, it's probably another one I can think of. I usually get my clothes on Target and JCPenney's. Uh, although this brand name hand-me-downs, like I just mentioned, from a sibling of mine. So. Always good. Uh, so I was lucky for my size to be getting the uh, expensive brand names. Uh, but a little bit of a tangent there. But no, imagine that situation. Walking into, like, you know, what? Earl Crowley and Finch. Seeing Gelly Ball and Adolf Hitler just being led by the nose, pretty much. Or... I don't know if you've seen a picture of him, he's got that little uh, shoulder strap there, you know, having her lead him through that, you know, like he's on a uh, leash or something, to off to, you know, blow more money for his niece because she wants those expensive shoes or, or dress or whatever. Uh, and pretty much taking them off to the cleaners at, uh, what's it, Juicy Control? I guess. <laughs> Use that little snail you there to describe to you. Oh, look, another student. Hello, student. <laughs> she just stood there. <laughs> yeah, fun, fun, fun and little tangent there. Oh, just ran off. Oh. So, uh, back to what I was saying, uh, that's probably pretty much the end I'm going to put of Gary Rubel. But she does end up uh, supposedly committing suicide. Now, that's up to debate. Also, if Hitler had someone else in the Nazi party kill Gary Rubel, or Hitler killed her himself. No one really knows, just like the relationship. And we may never find out, because Hitler had all those documents taken somewhere to be locked away, and probably they got burnt to smithereens when the Allies were coming, so. Oh well, it's up for debate now, thanks to Hitler and uh, World War II. So. So, um, so then back to the other part that I was going to continue on to, which was some more of Hitler's campaign. Now, after Gelly Rubal's suicide, supposedly, uh, I don't know if I can even mention that now. I guess you'd say unalived. Well, not being among the living, I guess to say is uh, okay to say now. Hitler would become very distraught. He would make this own personal little cult of Gelly Rubal where he would have no one is allowed into a bedroom, no one's allowed to touch her stuff except him once a year and there's always fresh flowers, and he, he is the only one to put the fresh flowers at all alive in the bedroom. Uh, but, you know, Hitler would view that, yes, women should do that for him. And this kind of cult would turn up even in matching to his generals and other big wig Nazi leaders. That, you know, my niece pretty much killed herself for me, Therefore, if you're a real man, you must do it too. <laughs> when they knew the war was lost and everything was going to uh, hell in a handbasket. So. But yet Hitler would become so distraught after all death. He would actually paste around. A lot of the Nazi party thought the guy would actually probably kill himself. So, make what you want of that. 
Uh, Lord knows if uh, Adolf Hitler even killed him, not killed himself, well he would eventually, but uh, had anything to do with Gary Ruball's suicide. But, you know, I guess supposedly from a little bit of a Hitler quote, I will try to leave off on this little section, is Hitler's only true love was pretty much his niece. <laughs> That's a summary of one. I'm not going to say the full thing because this is going, this is here for YouTube, and YouTube would not like me for putting a quote by Adolf Hitler. Uh, so. Let me just use that as a bit of a paraphrasing. That Hitler considered his niece was the only woman he loved, so Ava Braun eat your hold up. <laughs> Pretty much. Because this is a woman he would eventually meet when Gary Rubal was alive. So maybe Gary Rubal also, you know, killed herself because there was a love triangle. That sounds like bad writing advice. <laughs> but, you know, terrible writing advice. <laughs> If you watch that channel, uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. The infamous uh, love triangle feature of terrible writing devices. Uh, yep, little channel though. Please don't take me out, guys. Over there on that channel. <laughs> I don't need another no copyright check. No, that's just a reference for fandom. That's just, just another subscriber to your channel, that's all. But I will leave off on here and say uh, that this is Lisa Stayed here of the YouTube channels of Lisa Stayed and Hitler Obsessed, uh, ending part 15 of the life and death of Adolf Hitler lecture series. Oh, wait, this is part 16, never mind. And we're on to part 17 next in the next video. And uh, now I'm telling you now to go straight away and like this video, like all my videos. Become a subscriber, get your friends, your family members, everyone you know that has a YouTube account or a Google account, anyone that can make a YouTube account to become a subscriber. Like these videos, hit the notification bell, set it to all, share these videos, and leave a comment by golly Miss Molly. Go straight to my Patreon and my subscribe self, become a patron, and donate over there, splurge all your money, go into more student debt if you want. Take out a student loan for me if you want. This is a bit of a joke. Probably shouldn't be saying that in a college, but no. Okay. You can go to my bitchute.com channel at bitchute.com. That's one word, Lisa we stayed. Only go to my channel, please. Everyone else is not good at all. Not good people. Not the best. They don't have a wonderful Hitler and Nazi obsession. They have something with Hitler and the Nazis, but not that obsession. You can go to my Facebook uh, uh, page or my Facebook Messenger page and send me a friend request or leave me a comment or both, and that's at Lisa Stade. Now on to part 17 of the lecture series of the life and death of Adolf Hitler. Bye now. <laughs> And I think this channel is probably done for for this one video. Oh, fuzz.